Here we are in beautiful Lake Washita, 26 miles long, 300 miles of shoreline. We're out here in mid-May on a Friday morning and you can see here it, nobody in sight right now. We're um, in the part of the lake near Lake Washita State Park. It's 26 miles of lake, if you were to go end to end, 300 miles of shoreline. A cloudy day here, very peaceful. It's a great lake to rent a boat. This is just the little end of the lake. The lake widens up as you go in this direction and just opens up and there's over 60 different islands you can go on. There's no development allowed on the lake except for the seven marinas within the 26 miles. Here's a little island over there that is uh, overrun by water. It's early in the season, so by later in the season you'll be able to sit out on that little tiny island there. And then of course there's an island in back of it there. We're going to go over to a little island or a cove now to show you what a nice picnic or camping spot would be like. Here's an example of one of the many islands that's just small, it's probably about an acre big and it's right out here in one of the small coves of Lake Washita. It's a great place to camp or just picnic for the day, sit out here. Sort of the islands are on a first come first serve basis, if it's a big island, more than one group could be on it. This one thing about Lake Washita is the water is supposedly the third cleanest lake in the country. Matter of fact, you could see right near this island, if you look down, all the way to the bottom, very clear. So clean you can just drink from the lake if you needed to. This is point 50 over here and you can actually walk to that from a path at Lake Washita State Park. It's about a mile long path and you can get out to the edge here. The shoreline is up pretty high because we're at the beginning of the season we've had a lot of rain. As the time goes on, uh, the months go on, it'll get a little bit lower.